everyone. Thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. More information and updates are coming up regarding the death of the lady who went for an interview but never came back. Right now, her close friend is speaking up mm. to say exactly what happened. And her friend's name is Umo Udak. She went to Twitter to raise an alarm. That was two weeks ago when she realized that her friend never came back. After Inyobong Umo Renda's late girl went missing. And she now gave that information going around and everybody had to be aware. And people started going around to see if they can actually locate her or to find out what has happened to her. And she is now giving a first-hand account of the incident leading up to Ini's death. Her friend Umo revealed that Ini was an orphan who graduated from the University of Uyo in 2019 and was waiting to go for her NYSC. She explained that while they were on the graduates, Ini worked as a teacher to see herself through school since her parents were no more, which is a very sad thing to hear. And that she was sometimes late for lectures because she was busy with her own students. That was the easiest way for her to assist herself to raise funds and put herself through school. But after graduation, the NYSC was delayed due to the pandemic. While they were waiting to be called and given their call-up letters, she said Ini decided that she wanted to get a job just to keep body and soul going and to see how she can even make some ends meet to raise some funds prior to the time they will give them their call up later and that she was working somewhere else and needed another job and this caused her to make the tweet mm -hmm. that exposed her to a predator who goes online to offer jobs to unsuspecting job seekers a friend also said that she became suspicious when she received a voice note from Ini on the day she went for the interview, that was April 29, 2021. She said Ini was screaming in a voice note and that got her scared. She said when she had gotten that call, she got afraid. Like, where is this happening and what is happening to her friend? That was when she quickly went on Twitter to raise an alarm. And then she contacted Ini's siblings. She said Ini's sister immediately reported to the police and gave them the address of the place where she was invited for the interview. However, she alleged that the police told them it wasn't up to 24 hours, so they couldn't go searching for her on that same Thursday, which was April 29, 2021, which didn't really make sense. Yes, we know that generally to declare someone missing, it has to be 24 hours, but this case was different. She had called already screaming, that is to say that she was in great danger and needed help. She said that Ine's sister returned to the station on Friday morning and was told that they can't go to the address with the police van and that she has to rent them a van and buy fuel. What is all of this? Look at what the delays have actually caused. Who knows? Maybe if they had gone as soon as this report was made, this lady may not have even died or she may have been found probably in a critical condition that her life would have been saved. Something would have happened to at least help one way or the other. How can you go and meet the cops and they are telling you you have to rent a van for them, you have to buy fuel after delaying you, telling you they can't go. That wasn't enough the first day they reported. Then the second day being Friday, they now went back and they're now demanding that they should rent a van for them and fuel it. Where does this happen? Why is this like this in some particular locations? The police are meant to protect the lives and properties of people. But you find out some of them, they don't do that at all. Look at the kind of excuse they are giving. Is this enough excuse? 
And as such, Umar, that's her friend, said that she solicited for funds online since she couldn't do much as she was in Lagos to find a job too. She claims that she sent money raised online to the sister to give to the police. And when the police got to the address given to Ini to come for the interview, they allegedly found the suspect's father. That is the guy who killed this lady. His father was in the house. And she said that the suspect is a man known as Frank Udrak Akpang. His Twitter and Facebook account was traced by Nigerians after the alarm was raised. And that is the guy there. He, he allegedly has other victims too, who also recently opened up, including one who said she was drugged, stripped naked, raped and filmed, after which Udra kept using her pictures to blackmail her and collect money from her. Isn't this wicked? Uma also said that Frank Udra, that's the guy who killed the lady, took himself to the police station. She also mentioned an accomplice who works with him and added that her friend, that's the late Ini, only wanted a job as she didn't want to be a liability, but she ended up dead. Isn't this very, very painful? This is so sad. Look at this poor innocent lady who went in search for a job. Her life was just cut short. You can imagine what these police people had even contributed to. Probably if only they had gone in at the time they were called. Maybe this girl's life would have been spared because other victims are still alive. That is why they came out to speak up. And why did he kill her? If he would take his victims and then use that as a blackmail when he has done whatever he wants to do with them and then start getting money from them, then why didn't he do same to this lady instead of killing her? In the first place, why lure ladies to come over for a job when you know it's not real? So it's obvious it could be a family business because from all indication, from the information gathered as of yesterday, it was said that this guy handed the cops over to his own father when he realized that the cops were after him and they were in search for him. And then from the father to the cousin. So it's like a family business. Could this be that this is what they do for a living? This is how they make their own money? Isn't this so sad? You use people to earn your own livelihood rather than going out there to work with your hands like your fellow men. You want the easy money, the quick money by hurting people. All right, now what has he achieved by taking the life of this young lady? And to make matters worse, she is even an orphan. Another painful thing is, even I have posted the video yesterday, where her family is even demanding for her cops. They've not even handed her cops over to her family. So you'll be asking, is there something that these police people are not saying? Could there be something hidden that is going on that even the family is not aware? Because the family is now suspecting and seeing it as a foul play. All of this is not necessary at all. It's such a pity that this lady who went in search for a job has lost her life. Her life has just been cut short within a twinkle of an eye. Once again, I pray that the soul of Ini rests in perfect peace with the Lord. And I also pray that her family is able to get her cups. You can imagine that your family member has passed away in such a tragic manner. And at the same time, you still can't even get the cops to give that person a befitting barrier. Is it worth all of the stress? First, the cops delayed going there. Secondly, even after they had to provide money for the cops to go there. Coming back again, you don't want to hand the cops over to the family. What is all of this? What is really happening? I think there should be some sort of caution. Such things shouldn't be happening. If fine, people... I declared missing only after 24 hours but in this situation the person has already called and she's screaming in the background what else do they need do they really need that 24 hours mm -hmm. again knowing that this person's life is in danger and you can see that her friend was even all the way in lagos she also was there in search for a job but her friend was in aquaibo that was where this whole incident happened very painful it's such a pain that her family has to go through this.
now they can't even get the cops to even give her a befitting burial but i'm glad that this guy has been caught i'm sure with further investigations we'll get to find out if the father and the cousin who was mentioned are also part of this act please people should be very very careful make inquiries whenever you get information to go anywhere for a job not everybody's hands are clean not everybody's heart is pure some are out there for their own personal gains and what they would achieve or get from you not to assist you going in search for a job right now has cost this lady her life something needs to be done with regards to the way these cops would attend or respond to critical issues like this and i'm sure if a quick response was done this lady's life may have been spared. Friends, what do you have to say about this? What do you think with regards to the delayance of the cops, even after the lady called and notified them that this lady was screaming in the background? They decided to wait for 24 hours. Was that 24 hours necessary? That wasn't even done. When they went back again the next day, they still said it's not 24 hours, but if they really want them to go, they need to provide a van and frail the van. Where does this happen? Please, friends, if you have anything to say, you can put that down at the comment section. Please don't forget to hit on the like button. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Friends, I'm here today to talk about how to start up a new YouTube channel. So for those that are looking to start up a new YouTube channel. Probably you've been trying to figure out how to go about it or you have been trying to see what it entails or what you need to start. That's why I'm here today to give you the easy way for you to get this done. Not just the easy but the best method and also to give you or to tell about the best teacher who will give you all that it's required for you to start up your own YouTube channel. This is a teacher. He is really successful with his YouTube and he has been a teacher for so long now. Teacher is Matt Pa. He's going to give you a step-by-step -step method on how to start up your own YouTube channel. No stone unturned. Every step of the way, he's going to lead you through it. You have links that you can actually reach out to him and communicate with him directly. That's Matt Path there. You can see the huge successes he has made in YouTube. You can see his silver, you can see the gold. You can also see his revenue that he's actually making on YouTube, which is very huge. He is going to give you a YouTube step-by-step -step tube mastery class. Every step of the way from the beginning of the opening of the channel to how you can start up and put up your videos. He is leaving no stone unturned, like I said. So for those that are seeking for how to start up their own YouTube channel, this is the easiest and the fastest way for you to have access to this particular teacher who is honest and straightforward and you will enjoy every bit of the class and you will have lots of gain. At the end of your class, you would have lots to hold on to and to start up your own YouTube channel. It's going to be like an ABC class starting from the scratch. So please, for those of you that are interested in starting up your own YouTube channel, Matt Pa, he is the teacher and you would have direct access to him. I'm dropping the link below. So please, you just click on that link and you will have access to MathPass class. He is going to give you the whole 
content of YouTube and all that it takes for you to be successful in YouTube and how to start YouTube from the scratch. Like I said, and I'm going to repeat, he's leaving no stone unturned. And it's so interesting that if you have any kind of complaint, no matter the time you have this complaint or you are confused about anything, you can communicate directly to him and he will give you a response as soon as he gets your question or as soon as he gets your mail or anything you're trying to confirm from him. He is quick at responding and he will give you the right answers. And even if you go elsewhere to search, you'll find out that what he is saying is actually true. He wouldn't mislead you. So please, for those of you that want to start your own YouTube channel from the scratch and see how you can be successful on YouTube, please go to this link, click on the link below. So you will have access to the teacher. That's the teacher there you can see and see his success. You can go through that and then you click on the link so that you can have direct access to Matpa himself. This teacher, you will enjoy and enjoy every bit of the classes that he is going to give to you. So friends, do not forget to click the link below so you have access to MathPass to Mastery class and he will give you the best teaching for YouTube you will really need to start your own channel. Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please, for those that have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you once again and God bless you all.